2020 Mazda CX-9 is designed to elevate every moment with a sophisticated SUV experience. Stunningly crafted with three row seating, including second row captain's chairs. Book a test drive at Mazda.ca. This is Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Takeover, as my shirt says. And listen, I want you to listen. Like, we're the ball right now, it's crazy, it's loud, it's hectic from New York City, but I want you to listen to No Hold Hard Network. Network, another episode of Under the Ropes, episode 18. I'm your host, as always, the queen of the indies, the heartbreak chick, the EVP of giggles, Tiffany. And I'm joined, actually, with the law. I get it right, Ray. The law, Ray Ramundo. <laughs> See, you See, already, you already messed, messed up that you had to question it. See? No. See? <laughs> no. No. You shouldn't have questioned it. You should have just kept it, kept going. it going. Go through. Go through. Then it wouldn't be me who screws everything up, right? <laughs> anyway, um, under the ropes where we interview all independent wrestlers and today's guest, DJ Marconi. Welcome. Hello. hello, hello, everybody. And the law and the heartbreak chick. That's good. I didn't, that. I didn't hear that. I never heard that one before. That one's good. There's like Tiff, you messed it up again. You didn't give him a proper introduction. You got to do it old school style. Let me do it for him. I got to put him over. You got the Fink? You doing Fink? You doing Fink? You got you. We got you. Because he is not only the blue-eyed devil. He is the boot party man himself. He is now public enemy number one. TJ Marconi. He got all the gimmick names. Fantastic. 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 Damn, Ray, you should have introduced all this. <laughs> you can run the program now. <laughs> the heartbreak chick. The heartbreak chick, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> the longer you start doing all the podcasts, all all these names start coming towards you. So pretty much. So every name was given to me. It wasn't even given to me. So I don't know. Um, guys, let me know in the chat if everything sounds good because. The program has been a little it's wonky, it's so I want to make sure hair, that we're good. My hair, my, 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 my hair is all right. My brows, my, my brows. I'm not used to this technology. My use to this technology is my beard on point. <laughs> all right, we're good. Uh, uh, I'm still blue, right? I'm still blue, right? Yeah, still blue. You're still blue. I'm good. You know? So, you know, within like three weeks, we're going to start seeing like the real color of people, right? With everything going on right now, because nobody's going to be able to be doing their hair and stuff. So I'm, I'm pink. I'm, I'm, I'm pink. pink so I'm, I'm pink. So I'm good. Okay. So I'll be yeah. going back brown, yeah. guys. Just let me know. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, There's an okay. echo on TJ. Okay. Right, thank you for letting me know. All right. Cool. Perfect. This should be perfect now. So, um, yeah. So, guys, under the ropes where we, uh, do some interviews. So if you guys got questions, drop them in the chat. So uh, let us know. I mean, Ray, me and Ray, we have a bunch of questions. So oh man, I love it. I'm. Oh wait, we're supposed to have questions. Oh, oh, oh we're just gonna we're just gonna run it. Like you know. Like... Oh man, I forgot to do questions. Oh crap. Come on, Ray. All right, this interview's <laughs> over. Bye, guys. <laughs> That's it. Short episode. We brought TJ for now. That's it. Oh, That's it. oh man. <laughs> okay. I love it. Uh, I should love we it. get down to it, Tiff? Should yeah, let's, start this let's, off? let's get down to it. So, okay. go ahead. You, you, I'll you kick it off. I'll kick it off. You kick it off. <clears throat> okay. Uh, TJ, you're well known on the indie scene. But for our viewers, or those who are just getting in the indie scene themselves, can you tell us a little bit about the start of TJ Marconi? Uh, like every other probably indie guy, um, we look for a school or in some cases nowadays you jump off of something at Walmart. Um, no, uh, around 2009, um, graduated, uh, not, not fully got my associates in college and I wasn't having fun. So I turned to my friend, uh, Sean Maluda, 
who had a connection with his uncle, Alfredo Wild Simone, to get me into a training school. Started training in 09. Uh, Alfa moved to Florida, so I had to find a new training school. I found uh, BWO, which was in New Jersey. The trainers there were Richie Rotten and Magic. Magic's a um, pretty known trainer, wrestler from the 90s in the New York area. He trained guys like Homicide, Low Key, uh, the Hit Squad. And I uh, tried to train with him. By 2010, I was in the ring. And here I am 10 years later, uh, bitter and grumpy and... And still doing this crazy world of wrestling. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes. World yes. of wrestling. I love it. I love it. I love being in it. Um, yeah. So in your career so far, what could you say has been your most memorable or like in or outside of the ring? Um, well, there's, there's a lot outside the ring that, you know, I can't get into. Uh, but we maybe can later. But um, in the ring, um, wrestling in front of like crazy crowds is probably the best. Um, House of Glory, I wrestled in front of almost 3,000 people, the show that they had the Hardys and uh, the Dudleys at. And uh, it was, I'm, actually, it was an amazing red for us Rey Mysterio, I think. That was a 3,000 uh, person crowd. And it was uh, during SummerSlam weekend a few years back. That's probably one of the greatest moments. And then I got punched by Roman Reigns once, but I'm not allowed to tell anybody that. So, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so this one's a little a, a dimmer of a question, but hey. Um, in late 2018, it sadly seemed your career was coming to an end. Uh, what kept you positive on coming back? What kept you in the mindset of the return is going to happen? Uh, I mean, technically, I'm, I'm still, like, in the return stage um, right now. I'm kind of just, like, weeding, weaving my way back in. Um, I still have love for wrestling, man. Uh it, it's like a abusive girlfriend, you know. It's um, it's good at times, it's bad at times, but uh, it's hard to say no to it. And um, you know, it's very easy for me to just say, "I'm done wrestling." And but I enjoy stuff like this. I enjoy wrestling still every weekend. Well, when there's not a virus, you know, and, and having fun with people and interacting with crowds, because you know, I I'll put myself over saying that I can interact with crowds probably better than a lot of people. I'm very charismatic. I think of it as a, you know, a show, and I don't really don't care about the moves I do. I'm more about the storytelling, and I enjoy that aspect of it, of like interacting with you at IWA and pulling your hair and, you know, <laughs> telling you to sit down, you know, stuff like that. You know, and I enjoy that aspect of it the most. You know, that's what makes me keep coming back. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Again, we love having you back in this business, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like tear jerker. That yeah, night yeah. you tried to retire. I pulled, Mark, I, 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 I pulled the Mark. I pulled the Mark Henry pretty well. You know, it was pretty good. I, I left my boots, the the ones I don't wear, in the ring, and then I kicked them right in the face with a dress shoe. It was fantastic. Dress, dress shoes hurt, by the way. I feel so bad for him. That had to hurt. Ow. That had to have hurt. No rubber. Straight soul. Oh no. <laughs> straight, straight, straight soul. Sorry, Burgundy. <laughs> um, we have a, a fan tweet from that uh -oh. awesome. Oh God! He said, you got that right. Fan tweet. That's right, Matt. You are a fan. <laughs> right now, you are a fan. Okay, so his fan. No tweet. holds barred. <laughs> no holds barred. Or I like to call it no holds barred. No, no. <laughs> barred. <laughs> um. So he asks, "What? What is um? What is Escape from New York 2020 currently looking like?" And I have a follow-up question with that. Well, Anthony man, I no, can't go and be no, back. I, 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 I ain't no boss, man. I guess I gotta review. I gotta pull back the fourth wall. Okay. Um, I came up with the idea of Escape from New York. Um, probably if people are watching this, they know you know the 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 entertainment, the scripted aspect of wrestling. I'm more creative now. I'm more of an actor director instead of just an actor. Kind of like when Bradley Cooper did A Star Is Born. He does both. Um, I came up with the concept of a tournament. Um, tournaments sell. Uh, people want to see tournaments. They always like the King of the Ring. Always, always does well. Um, what's another big time tournament? Bola. So, I wanted to bring a tournament to New York and BWF. It's Escape from New York. You know, play off the John Carpenter movie. Um, it's a Survivor Series tournament. One night, four, uh, eight teams. 
four-man teams and whoever wins is the best team they can escape in new york and the follow-up to your question if uh your who is he husband number four five what is he <laughs> he's number one still <laughs> he's still a coward uh uh Amph- Amphony, uh dog stepfather um he he is uh he probably will be one to win he lost in the finals last year and i know how much he loves the concept so he probably will be back maybe he'll team with me and actually win oh you know, <laughs> know we can we we had a, a crusade before <laughs> but maybe we can do a four man team mm. up that or we could just be team fuck it all i don't know if that'll if that's a pc you know like the you know the f-u-k-i-o-l you know something like that but let's see the husband number one the coward might will probably be there. i really enjoyed escape from new york and it was actually the first time that i came to bwf so i yeah. wasn't even I was familiar with you because you were laughing at my interview of the clips that I took with me and Anthony Gangone, and uh, Kyle threw me under the bus, the Gangone. So that's how I found TJ, and then I first saw him at the Escape from New York. But I really love the concept, and I'm really excited for August. Like, I'm really looking forward to who's going to be part of Escape from New York. Um, I mean, the wolves under the eyes, probably WXW for sure will be back to defend. I'm working on seven other teams. They'll definitely be like a BWF team because they host it. I'm going to work on getting air conditioners and fans uh, to make it a lot cooler in the building. But, yeah, um, I'm trying to make it more, you know, di- six different companies and to come out and have a good time like last year. So let's see what happens. Mm, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's funny, though. We're talking about factions. We're talking about this. Leads to my next question perfectly. It's like we planned this. Mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> Segway. Segway. It's, it's a, not just a vehicle. It's a, yeah. it's a tool. So, like you mentioned earlier, you're a part of the Crusade for Change. You were part of Two Click. You were part of Larger Than Life. You've been a part of many teams, factions, a few others. We'll, we'll keep going. Yeah. And would you say, though, that you prefer that or being a lone wolf as you currently are? Um, there's benefits to both. Um, I enjoy being a lone wolf when it's promo time because I don't have to worry about having the other guys step up or be in my creative mindset. I don't like doing the, like, I'm in front of a webcam right now going, let me tell you something about the promo. I like doing movies. Uh, I do entertaining stories and cinematography and adding edits and all this other stuff. You've seen my promos it's not a regular promo it's like watching a short film so lone wolf would be better for that uh stable work i enjoy because it's less work for me to do in the ring so yeah i i I definitely love tag team which usually it's just tag my hand and i come in there and i'm the big guy and do a few moves and then i take him home uh you know kevin nash always enjoyed teaming with uh sean michaels so huh there you have it Uh, So in your time in the business, what has been one word of advice you would care to share that has been passed down from another wrestler? Okay. The best advice or just any advice? Uh, Any advice you're willing to share. Yeah, let's do it like that because if maybe there's something you don't want to share with everybody. Uh, The the only thing real is the money and the miles. Uh, The money in your pocket and the miles you put on your body and the miles you put on your car. Um, wrestling is a very, what's the right word? Demanding. It's interesting business when behind the curtain. So you have to always remember that the, what you get from people is not always what it's real. So that would be the best advice I got. I, 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 I am too real to a fault and that's why, you know, some people get get hurt. but i mean once you know me then you know who i am so yeah he's not lying there <laughs> <laughs> i don't I, I don't burn bridges i just do them on purpose i like being honest in this sometimes it is what it is yeah. i love it uh, uh okay um okay yeah okay so could you give the viewers at home some insight into the relationship between you and the legendary magic Magic is like he's sensei, man. He's uh, he's he's the grand, he's the godfather of New York City wrestling. He's my trainer. I'm always gonna have so much thanks for him. He's got me. He got my foot in the door. Uh, he 
provides me nothing but entertainment and provided me nothing but knowledge when I first started. He's uh, he's too nice for this business, legit. If he was had a little bit of a bad bone in his body or more of a killer attitude, he would have been on all your TVs in the mid-90s and he would have been even bigger than he already is locally. Um, but yeah, Magic is is the best, man. He's, he's sensei. And there's no, if you have, if someone says something bad about Magic, then that person's just a bad person. Yeah, I've I've so many encounters I've had with Magic. It's like every time it's just a learning tree. You just sit, you uh, mouth closed, ears open, because the man is he's so. Again, it's perfect for this for this mindset for wrestling. Yes. Guys, take take notes, and I love yeah. that we can see like all this stuff on YouTube. And so, if you have questions, definitely go like look up. Uh, so we have a fan tweet from Chris. He's from Through the Table. He said, how did, how did your SmackDown appearance come about, and did you meet or speak to any of the WWE wrestlers? Sh- should, I, should I answer this truthfully or kind of put a little <laughs> bit of a... I didn't talk to any of the wrestlers. I just showed up because Sheamus wanted Roman Reigns out of the ring, and, you know, I, I work for a security company, and they called me, and I, I came there. You know, I didn't talk to anybody. I just showed up with my security polo and my slacks and my wrestling boots because you always wear wrestling boots when you're doing security. And I asked Roman Reigns to leave the ring. He said, I'm not leaving the club, pal. You're too damn big to spear, so I'm going to punch you in the face. So I said, all right, punch me in the face. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that. And, yeah, that's what happened. No, um, uh, I wrestled Tommy Dreamer in November of that year, and he said, you're big, you can work, how come you're not on TV? I said, I don't know, why don't you help me with that, pal? Um, two weeks later, he helped me with that, pal, and he got me a tryout with the WWE. The road dog was an agent. He looked at me and said, holy shit, he's big, he can talk, let's get him something. The following night, I don't know if I can curse, I apologize. No, you're I'm good, don't worry, go for it. Uh, we're good, uh, go for it, fuck it. The, the, <laughs> first, the first night, it was... We stood and drank coffee while they filmed stuff. I ate a lot of really good catering. The second night uh, tryout matches, they liked me. The big guy could bump, huh? All right, let's get him something. So, you know, they did the angle with 19 security guards trying to kick out Roman. Uh, They gave me time to be the last guy in. Um, Roman even said, you know, he's too damn big to spear. I'll punch him. I said, all right, no problem. Even though I said I would bump for him. You know, I'm a nobody. I'm a security guard. Um, Got punched in the face. Thought everything was going to be skyrocketing to that point. I had a lot of good feedback. Uh, if I can dive into the story, I will. But long story short, somebody with Power, who's Canadian, didn't like my old partner. Uh, Darius Carter went to Powers at B, said this guy would be no good, uh, not a good fit in WWE. And here I am today, and I'm still an indie schmuck. But, I mean, I enjoy being an indie schmuck, so it is what it is. <laughs> oh, man. What, what was Does that answer the question? Yes. What was in catering though? Like anything, you know? Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Like I, I literally, if I can ever go back, I just want catering. Buffalo, cauliflower, and salmon, and it was fantastic. <laughs> like you know, and then I had a student of Tajiri's there doing extra work who barely spoke English, but we knew each other from doing a show. And he was like, Mr. Uh, TJ, please help me fill out the form. He didn't know how to fill out like the, the forms. And he oh. ate nothing but peanut butter and jelly, which I was telling him, I'm like, dude, buffalo cauliflower eat that instead of peanut butter and jelly so oh. i mean there's a lot of good stuff with catering oh i love it um so i have i have an actual question that i ask everybody that comes on this podcast so what's been the craziest thing a fan's done to get your attention huh <laughs> i'm ready for this one male or female it doesn't matter whatever you want to spill the beans on you can tell us multiple stories i enjoy it um, the, the the strangest is probably when I get exed, you know, if I would wrestle them, if they want my gear, hey, 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 message, message, message over and over again. I don't answer for a year. Finally, they, they get ballsy and send me like, you know, naked pictures. Uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty, uh, strange for, I would say, you know, if someone doesn't answer you for a year and then you send them a naked photo, male, by the way, male, I mean, so, um, yeah, that's wrestling for you. At, at a show, usually I get, hey, macaroni, you suck. <laughs> you know, but, you know, the, the, I'm a pretty frightening person, pretty frightening in person. So in person, it's not too many strange uh, interactions, but definitely like the DMs from both genders. Uh, so very, out, very out there. Yes. Oh. I never get the whole buying my gear thing. I don't know. I, I, why do you need my underwear? You know, that's mine. 
Leave me alone. <laughs> why? I need to know why. Can you guys explain to me if you're a weirdo? Like, really? I, I, I mean, I, I, my underwear probably smells. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> I, I I guess on to the next question. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ray. Go go for the fan tweet. Okay, uh, we have a fan tweet here from our friend, another Chris, who ha who has this question of, "What do you geek out on when you're not wrestling?" Man, I'm the biggest nerd in the world. Gimmick totally friggin' ruined. Uh, no, um. I Contrary to my uh, character of being a mafia boss who burns things and, and, and kills people, I'm a giant nerd. Uh, I love uh, watching all types of cinema. Uh, I love reading comic books. I play a video game. I play like one video game called Final Fantasy, which they're coming out with a remake of a game that came out when I was a child. So I'm definitely geeking out about that. I'm pissed that this virus is delaying stuff that I wanted to see, like Black Widow and Mulan remake. Actually, I'm a big Disney freak. Um, lately, I was put into a card game called um, Super Show by SRG Universe, and I like the tabletop aspect of playing wrestling with cards. Like, So there's like a boot party card. There's a choke slam card that has like my picture on it, and it's really cool. I've been geeking out about that. So yeah, I geek out about a lot of things, and I'm a pretty big nerd. Just don't tell me why I'm wearing my black... Uh, gloves and trench coat because you know then i have to body slam you through a table <laughs> and by the way guys you could get those srg cards i left the link below in the description for you, if you guys i'm telling you at first i was just in the game and i didn't know about it and now like i play online and i go to events and play um it's very it's very nerd heavy and it's awesome like i get to play as myself on a card That's it's fantastic awesome. Yeah, gotta love SRG. Gotta love them. Yeah, so awesome. a lot of people in the Northeast are in it, but they're not that good at the game. I'm pretty good now. Oh, <laughs> that's right, Gango. I'm talking to you, coward. <laughs> Damn, the soft muck. <laughs> Doesn't he have multiple cards now? Yeah, he does. he does. Don't worry, I'm gonna have multiple cards too. <laughs> Why are they not on my shrine? I gotta get some. Like, <laughs> uh... Gango literally stepped on my head while I was drowning. You understand that? That's the kind of friend he is. Oh, no. He stepped on my head while I was drowning. Anyway. Uh, okay, we're going to move on to my next question. <laughs> Coward. Uh, speaking of geeking out and things that you like, as a friend, I do know this. What's your obsession with Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, he's the fantastic human being of all times. Uh, he's a great philanthropist. He uh, recently put out a video uh, feeding a tur uh, donkey and a small horse saying stay at home and play with your animals because the animals that cannot spread the virus don't go out there if you're 65 over 65 years old no more gymnasiums no more clubbing no more uh, craziness at beaches this is like the sand and water stay at home you know we stop to flatten the curve um arnold is uh sorry i ranted a little bit um <laughs> As a as a child, like my first memories, well, besides like you know like comic book stuff, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. The guy was larger than life. Like I hooked into wrestling because of Hulk Hogan in my mind was seven feet tall and a superhuman, and Arnold Schwarzenegger was the same thing. Um, my obsession with him is just because I I respect the fact that he was a immigrant who came here and like legit lived the American dream. Uh, as an adult, I see that he legit co accomplishes anything he wants to accomplish. Um, he's, he always gives back to the community, which is like, and he doesn't like, um, jam it down your throat. Like, Oh, I'm donating a million dollars. He just does it yeah. um, for, for 20 something years. He's like, uh, headed the after school programs throughout the country. And it's not like a big news article. He just does it. Like he donates to it to make sure that there's after school programs for underprivileged children. Um, and he's hilarious to me. He made action movies funny. Which is great because I like the action and I like the comedy. And obviously, you tell, I try to steal some of his comedy, but I'm not that funny like him. And uh, man, that's pretty much it. And then I try to uh, mimic his voice like all out throughout my childhood. And now I just I don't even realize I do it half the time. I'm just like, get the hell out of here! What the hell's going on? Oh, I mean, uh, can you leave? You know. So. <laughs> Christian said in the chat, "Man, did that go on command? Then the switch back like nothing." <laughs> He does. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> like, listen to me. Sometimes, if I want to fuck with you while I'm wrestling, I'd be like, "Listen, get the hell down! I'm gonna put you down." And they'd be like, "Wait, what?" 
you know, so it's like, get down, big boot you in the face. <laughs> Duck two will come back around, give me a close line, I no sell it, didn't give you a power bomb, kick out at two, come up with flying head scissors. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it literally, it's uh, it's probably a nervous tick at this point, you know, but it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, we have a fan tweet from our girl April. She said, since you're such an Arnold fan, top five Arnold movies. Ooh, see, that's not fair. <laughs> um, uh, Last Action Hero, Terminator 2, uh, Junior. I love Junior. Probably no one else loves Junior. Oh, man, this is not fair. <laughs> hey, she was <sighs> lenient. She gave you five. Yeah, she could have just said, like, your favorite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, I love Batman and Robin. I love it. No one else loves it. Um, Red Heat, which is a very obscure one, and Predator is f- absolutely fantastic. I can literally name all of them, but there's, there's, those are like five off the top of my head. If Arnold's on, I'm watching. Don't bother the man. Don't bother him. I would say if you want to treat, give twins in junior a back-to-back viewing because him and Danny DeVito – Fantastic chemistry. He has a child. He births a child in junior. A giant human being is pregnant. Giant male human being. Oh, what more do you want? Uh. Especially in 2020. <laughs> what more do you want? 2020, shoot your shot. <laughs> the, the line the, the line in the movie, he goes, uh, my nipples are very sensitive. Okay? My nipples. Touch them. Feel how soft they are. All right? <laughs> If that doesn't make you want to watch the movie, I don't know what will. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, so I have a very serious question. Yes. What are your thoughts on JD Alpha still not playing No Mercy? I can curse, right? Yes. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> what kind of wrestler hasn't played No Mercy? Like, like, you're an independent wrestler. You haven't played No Mercy, the greatest video game, wrestling video game of all time. You're a legit piece of shit. <laughs> Die slowly. <laughs> Fucking uh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> if you guys didn't watch, I think it was episode four of Indie Talks, where Look, we were at IWA. We put a bunch of drink, clips. I don't know how this works. <laughs> drink this. <laughs> drink this. No, we need that. There's a pandemic. Product, uh, product placement. Drink this, Howard. By the way, JD Alpha's in the chat. He said, I am now unfriending him because Batman and Robin was whack. Goodbye. Whoa! <laughs> okay. So, imagine you are a, uh, at the time, he's a mid-40s, uh, top-of-the-line actor, and they put him on a 75-pound uh Iceman suit and you're gonna have to be a good actor while you're having it done. He did fantastic. What killed the dinosaurs? Die Sage! What's it gonna be, Batman? Save the bird or get the girl? <laughs> this day is mine! You know, come on. That's fantastic. He turned a horrible script and a horrible movie into an enjoyable pastime for me. So that's why he's great, JD Alpha, unlike you, who has never played No Mercy. Garbage human being. Die slowly. Like, t- take a knife and cut right here so you don't die. You just bleed a little bit. And he drips out slowly, like right here on the knuckle, right here on the knuckle. Cuts and then just bleed. bleed. Piece of garbage. Wow, this is. See, this is why I didn't make a two K custom one, man. <laughs> I've made multiple deserve, for TJ. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it unless you make him like a block, like he's in uh, in No Mercy. He comes out and does the whatever that taunt was. I mean, you probably see me acting like Dal Sim right now. I don't know. The Street Fighter people out there. I have charisma, I know. Thank you. April said to chill in the chat. Christian said it? chill. No, do they know JD Alpha? Do they know him? Yeah, of course. April's come to some of the shows with me, so she met JD Alpha at IWA and uh I don't know if Christian's familiar. Some people are and if they want like I said, if you guys watch the episode of Indie Talks episode four, you've seen JD Alpha crying on Ray. <laughs> now He's making a joke playing other video games, making believe it's N64's greatest video game of all time, WWF No Mercy. So he's a legit garbage human. Garbage. He said it's human. not that serious in the chat. <laughs> I think we should uh, okay. move on. Go ahead, Ray. <laughs> I'm going to get to an actual serious question right. now. I hope he bike rides. 
tomorrow. Like, go for a bike ride because the gyms are closed. And he hits a pothole. And he flips over the handlebars, and he knocks out two of his teeth. I don't care if they're the front or the back. Just two of them. Garbage. Okay. No, this isn't a work. You're a garbage. Play the damn game. It's a pandemic. Play the game. Okay. <laughs> uh, with your tenure in the business, who would you say has been an opponent that's taking you to your limit that you want to face in a heartbeat? Just like that. That coward Anthony Gangone. No. Um, <laughs> probably another match with Jack Swagger. Um, I had a really good match with him, and we had good chemistry. Um, I wish Uncle Kev, uh, better known as Diesel, the greatest WWF champion of 1995, uh, was younger and had better knees. I would love to wrestle him. I had an angle with him, but not a wrestling match. But yeah, Jack Swagger. And I love wrestling Anthony Gangone, even though he's a coward. But yeah, Jack Swagger. I'm not going to give Anthony. I'm not going to give Anthony the rub. I'm sorry, pal. Oh boy. Tim will do that enough. It's okay. Yeah. put him over like crazy. Number one, number one coward. Aww. Number one coward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I can't say much as I look at my arm. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it's a it's a it's a beautiful mask if you think about it, because it's partially the crusade mask just with a beard, and beards are fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I just want to change the side. Okay. Um. So, I want to know. Um. Who sh- who should everybody keep their eyes out in the year 2020? I gotta put people over now. This sucks. <laughs> okay, don't put them over. Uh, <laughs> Screw um, them. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a crime that Gangone isn't somewhere bigger than just being an indie guy. He's super talented. You know, he hasn't uh, burned bridges. He's actually a nice guy to everybody. Um, so I don't know why that hasn't happened. Um, and the people that I think are incredibly talented and just like a few steps away. Um, Johnny Santos, uh, uh, a guy out of the Northeast, he is going to be a star. Um, I like, I obviously like uh, BX Strong too good. They're, you know, they're a little bit away, but they're going to be, they're going to be super talents. If Mantis can learn how to talk, uh, do a promo, and not uh, have a weird gimmick, he will be on TV. Uh, there's nothing stopping him. Sebastian Cage should be on TV right now. The, the, his promo game is a little a little whack, but he should be on TV from uh, his his in-ring ability. There's countless guys. Uh, plus, like, I don't know what the hell my, like, I know he's my be- one of my best friends, or, you know, he was the best man at my wedding, Sean Maluda. It's not because he was my best man. The, t- the dude is super talented. He's had shots with NXT. He's had shots with the Cruiserweight Classic. I don't know what else he has to do. I know his promo is a little, you know, but you know, it's uh, he should be a lot further than he is right now. So those are the guys I'd say: Mantis, Gangone, Johnny Santos, Too Good, Mantis. Some of these guys I've had on under the ropes that you guys have seen before. Adam Kane. And if, yeah, got if they're watch, if they're watching, you know, I'm brutally honest, and don't take anything I say to heart. Um, just get better. And if I didn't mention your name, it doesn't mean I don't like you. It just means get better. Adam in the oh, chat God. said that time I spine buster DJ. <laughs> you know, th- this guy's making He me- always <laughs> brings that up. I mean, <laughs> Every it, so it, uh, pull the wool down again. I was brought into House of Glory to uh, teach the the students of the, the, the school how to put together matches. Honestly, that's probably why I was brought in. And I was putting together the, the match and I gave Adam the all right, you're the guy who's going to put down the big guy. What do you got? He said, spine buster. I said, all right, cool. And I gave him the, the bump of his career because he obviously keeps bringing it up. And he spine busted me. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. How did I forget this? Dude, Josh Glide. Like, uh, he, Josh Glide. Yeah, two click. Like, dude, get your, sh- get your shit together so you can be on TV. That's it, man. Like, if you're not watching Josh... Start watching Josh. Like, there's not enough footage of him out there. That's a problem. And I'm trying to work on it by getting him matches at BWF and other places. Dude, there's always been a tremendous talent. And I'm not just saying that because he's my tag partner. I've had, as you've mentioned, 85 different freaking tag partners. Josh Collide is so fucking talented. Dude, 
get your shit straight and be on TV already. There you have it. There you have it. I, I said I had one more, but I have two. My l- next question is, who are you looking forward to wrestle in 2020? After this all blows over, we know we're in a pandemic at the moment, but everything blows over. Who are you looking to face next? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, Terry Balea. Uh Yeah, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> no, I really don't know, man. Um, um, not to be a downer, but uh, if uh, by the end of the year I'm not like it, like a company making crazy money, I'm always gonna scale back a lot. So I'm every match I have now is kind of done with. The, I'm really looking forward to working this guy. So I'm not gonna be working guys who I really don't want to work to begin with. I'm kind of being very, uh, very picky and choosy and there's probably a better word i'm not an english major i was always good at math not english uh of who i wrestle so you know i have matches lined up with people who are uber talented uh, sebastian cage when bwf comes back uh chris barton the everyone i mentioned before uh obviously the coward gangone at iwf i mean iwa so yeah i'm looking forward to those yeah. not yeah, looking yeah. forward i'm not looking forward to wrestling vince Steele. he's very heavy and he smells <laughs> awful. He smells like bad fish, like 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 sardine, <laughs> like like spoiled sardines. That is Very, a big boy. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty bad. Okay. So oh. now for my real last question. Oh, I had so. that sm- <laughs> oh. Okay. So oh. for my last question, well. It's not even a question. It's more of a last keep, statement. Keep, he, keep, bang, keep banging them out. I'm having fun, man. Hopefully this is going to get views and it's going to not piss anyone off because uh, the opinions of my are myself and I'm nothing to do with uh, what's the company name. I don't want you guys to get in trouble for my opinions. This is big. Hey, he well, put well, over well, Matt. Well, it's okay. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. You're fine. It's all good. <laughs> if we go down, we go down swinging. It's okay. Um, the, views, the views expressed by TJ Marconi are his own. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, so my last question, like I said, it's more of a statement. Because even I tweeted out earlier this episode, I was definitely looking forward to because I'll definitely call you a friend of mine, Teach. You're always a been, of mine. always will be. And I have to I'm say thank you. Entertain- we're entertaining. We're entertaining. Yeah. Entertaining. Definitely have to say thank you for everything you've taught me through the years. Because again, TJ, for those that know, one of the first people I took a pick with at Hog like six years ago, I want to say. It shows who are my friends Aunt, now. Yeah, it wow, went, yeah. It went from Ant to Tej, Smiley, and even Mr. Hank Flanagan. So it was those list of guys that I can still say are definitely friends of mine. And last thing I could say is just continue being you, man. Be- yeah. One of the best, if not the best, big man in the tri-state. Yes. In the, in the multiverse. No, no, I'm not the best big man in the business. I'm the best big man in the multiverse. So that includes, like, Earth-616, Earth-2, Mars... Uh, Pluto, if it's still a planet, um, wherever Thor and Black Widow and Captain America are from, you know, every verse. There you have it. I love it. I love it. Uh, if you guys got questions in the chat, just drop them. I mean, I have like one final question, but the except the if you're JD Alpha, because no one cares <laughs> if you play the damn video game. <laughs> Get an N64. I, I feel like, you know, Ray, we're gonna, the next time that my, we're... <laughs> I have my cat. Uh, it's a black. Uh, she's uh, about six months old. Leia. She literally, when I said JD Alpha's name, spit up a hairball. <laughs> and she just did it again. You see? She, that's how horrible you are. That cats spit at the sound of you. We're going to have to, like, uh... Ray, we're going to have to, like, bring the video game the next time, like, IWA runs. And we're going to no, He won't to... play it. He, he won't play it because he's a garbage human. Okay, well, I think you'll get like killed by all the wrestlers that day. I think we should. <laughs> JD Alpha has left the chat. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> all right. So, so here, here's like a serious question that I always ask everybody. So, for all inspiring pro wrestlers out there, or anyone looking to get it into the business, what's what's uh, some advice that you would give them? Run. <laughs> Run. I knew that was his answer. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, um, protect your body. 
Um, be mindful of everything you do. Don't make uh, the same mistakes I did. With um, Bite your tongue sometimes and don't be so prideful. Humble is key, man. Humble is yeah. totally key. Definitely, definitely was uh, 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 a bad... I made bad decisions, but it doesn't... I, I'm able to stomach them. Some people can't, so... Yeah. Uh, be humble. Uh, bite your tongue sometimes and protect your body. Yes, please. We don't need anybody hurt. I don't have the first aid kit. <laughs> I need to get the first aid kit and come to all these indie shows. Because, <laughs> I don't know, you guys make me nervous sometimes. I don't know. I don't know, so... I mean, I hope, uh, you know, everything gets better soon so we can enjoy indie wrestling. But, I mean, I miss it. I'm getting uh, I'm getting the lack of right now. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to start scratching and stuff. <laughs> I miss coming to all the shows. Give me, like, two weeks. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping within a couple of weeks. I hate the fact that we lost out, like, on a bunch of um, oncoming shows. So, um, me and Ray were looking forward to come back to, like, IWA and do more uh, videos and um interviews as well so um yeah i mean i don't know i mean that's all my questions Ray, you think of anything else i know i said i said everything like i said i put i put the friend over that's it <laughs> Tej, got anything else you want to say your last yes, closing remarks anything Whatever all right you want to say. say to the nation yes all right one raymond are you going to change from blue to like maybe a red or uh, a purple I've done red. Purple might be next. All right. All right. Um, blue. I like. I like. I like blue. I like blue. But you know, I always gotta change it up. Uh, Tiffany. Yes. Heartbreak chick. <laughs> oh, boy. Now is that is 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 that like is that like uh you know and we're we're in 2020 where we have to be accepting of all uh, names you know why can't every heartbreak you know guy <laughs> you know? why not why not why you have to be heartbreak chick why. <laughs> The name was given to me. What am I? What am I? I'm supposed. Well, to... <laughs> well, it's it's a little sexist. You know, it, <laughs> yeah, I'm a chick. It's a little. Uh, why can't you be heartbreak guy? Heart, <laughs> heartbreak fella. <laughs> oh, spit take. I saw that there. No, no, um, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, didn't we have a question my... from our friend Hank Flanagan? Uh, Flanders. <laughs> Uh, I guess I, I guess I'll ask it because it's not. <laughs> there was a question. We'll get mad can't, later. We can't I'll leave ask. the other husband out, so don't leave the other husband uh, out. He'll be upset. Flanders, uh, Flanders is a husband as well. Yes, he's a husband as well. So, uh, do I have to read it how he wrote it? Yes, okay. you have to read it how so, he wrote again, it. These are his words, not mine. Why is he retiring like a bitch when he's got so many years left? Because my back hurts from carrying places and my mind hurts from kids jumping off of stuff at Walmart and getting more famous than me. And my ears hurt from listening to people like JD Alpha not playing No Mercy. And my eyes hurt from watching wrestling matches from Bull James. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Hey. And, my, and, my no, and my nose hurts because of... Mark Quinn doing a 630 and landing on my foch a few years ago. It's still not set in right. Look at that. Look, look, look. look. I don't know if you hear the, the clicking of my nose. I, I guess, I guess. <laughs> no, I was just, I, I was just, just, I'm just, a, it's comedy. It's comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but if the Flanders, if that doesn't answer your question. Um, yes, I want to retire. Um, not because of the fans. At all, like I love fans. I uh, love the 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 story aspect of wrestling. The other parts of it are a lot. And um, I, man, Ric Flair has retired so many times. Terry Funk retired in 1983. Um, I'm going to take a back seat because I feel um, if I am not somewhere of note by the end of the year, I'll be on year 11, and I shouldn't be taking up main event spots. From people like I mentioned before, um, I should be in the foreground. Not I should be in the background, not in the foreground. So of me saying I retire to let other people have spotlights and for me to help other people with promo or help other people get noticed, then that's my job in wrestling. 
Um, I'm not, I don't want to be a guy who's, you know, a 15 year in the independent wrestler taking away spots from people who are just like three years in who need the exposure and need the main event pushes. That's why I want to take a step back, give back to wrestling. That's what I want to do. There you go. Well, we'll say this though. If you do retire, cause we all know never truly ends. Brother, yeah, you better him. give me one match. All right. Who? Me? You? I mean, I gotta put you. I gotta put you over then, right? I gotta. I, you, what are you gonna give me? Frog splash? <laughs> power bomb? I, I, I don't post well for power bombs. Listen, so. I told Ray, and I mean this. I swear to God, I'm gonna say it again right now on the air. Ray, if you pull a freaking code red, I'm getting up and I'm walking out, and I'm not coming back. I'm letting and you I know think right I'm now. I'm gonna get to hit one on Tej, but okay. No, <laughs> I'm just you saying. Want, I, 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 we, we can make that happen. No, I will walk out. <laughs> we can make that happen. No, you well, want me you... to walk out? <laughs> Am I that annoying at the shows? <laughs> no, but you have event. that. Better... One match. One match, Tej. I swear to God. At least one. You pull a code right about. Deuces. But not, n- nothing for JD Alpha. Oh, she she spit up again. <laughs> <laughs> um, our friend Charles in the chat asks if you could star in any movie, what movie would it be and why? Oh my God. <laughs> I want to star in Avengers Endgame, but Arnold Schwarzenegger playing <laughs> Thor. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I, so I, like I, I get to I get to get all my fandom in one all shot. One movie, yeah. one I love shot. it. I love or it. Ma- imagine Schwarzenegger as Yoda in Star Wars. <laughs> Luke, get the hell over here! I said, come on, you know, which means come on, get the hell over here, Luke. <laughs> um... I take take the sword. I fight your father in the forest. It's not really your father. It's an imagination, father. Oh shit! Your father's Darth Vader. Ha ha! Idiot. You know. Yeah. Um. JD Alpha said. Damn that. I can't. This is why I love doing these interviews. JD Alpha said in the chat: Ray versus TJ, match of the year. How dare you? Does the stream go down? I don't no. think. No, we're still we're still going. We're good. Okay. Good. Yeah. No, I, we're still I good. Don't know. The no, I think she wants the match, not the kitty. Oh. oh. <laughs> I would hope she wants the match. She again. might want the kitty, though. Time. She might want the uh, kitty. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll wrestle everybody on my way out. Don't worry. Except uh, he who should not be named. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm staying far away. I'll be in the back cheering with a moo moo movement uh, side. Moo. Moo Moo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Moo Moo that. Movement. We started the Moo Moo Movement. Well, see, you, you have to get a bunch of, like, like old abuelas and, like, the, some Italian grandmothers now who wear the Moo Moo's to, to go to sleep. You know, that, is that what you're talking about, right? The Moo Moo, like, the, like the, the big dresses, the one-piece nightgowns? Is that no, what you're talking about? No, oh. actually, we... So, the whole thing that I was busting um, too good about that I wanted a lady tank top, right? Uh, when I was at IWA, we did uh, a skit for Indie Talks, and, and Andrew was like, I got you, I got you, I got you. So, if you saw the guy, if you guys saw the video, uh, he hands me a wife beater shirt, and he took a marker and put too good. So... That's not a moo moo. That's not a moo moo, though. <laughs> well... A mo- a mo- a mo- I, I, I know Ray, Ray's got a little flavor in him, too. He's got a little salsa in him. Yeah, your, your, your old aunts and your grandmas, if you're like Italian or, you know, some type of Latino, they wear a shirt that's known as a muumu, which is also get my nightgown. That's a muumu, <laughs> which is a, usually an extra long shirt that has some type of floral print or a cat on it. That's a muumu. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what you got. You got to uh, start getting them. I have people that are in the chat or if you are an Italian of descent or some yes, type of Latino, I'm both. you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I know about. exactly. I'm both. I'm absolutely both. I'm and it's, and it's, it's reserved for older aunts and grandmothers. <laughs> yes, drop those cows wrong. in the chat, guys. Drop them. Drop He's them in wrong. the chat. <laughs> If that's um, going to be the Moo Moo movement, the Moo Moo you got to do it right. I got the extra long Moo Moo's nightgowns. 
man. I love it. I absolutely love See, it's it. sad now of the pandemic. This would be the time we'd be like, Club, what's next, TJ? But we, we can't do that. Uh, probably Shit. BWF, IWA, uh, BCW. Um, Warrior Wrestling, right? Uh, WXW in Florida. Mm, where else am I going to probably show up? I don't know. Uh, wherever uh, they would like me to go, I will go. Um, I'll be making trips to in the fall to Seattle, California, Kansas City, in Indianapolis, Whoa, but not for rest, not for wrestling to watch the Jets play. So I'm going to try to uh, schedule a wrestling show. Like so, it's like I'm going to do a wrestling event and then go see my Jets play in a stadium that's not New York. So you know, kill two birds with one stone. You know, be an adult. Well, yeah, do things. That's exciting. You know, do, that's do exciting. Things, that's do why things I... before I'm dead. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Tell everybody where they can find you if they want to follow you. Uh, so everything across the board at TJ Marconi. So that's uh, Instagram, which I'll admit I'm not the best at Instagram, but I'm trying. Twitter, which I will post usually nerd stuff because the wrestling fandom is usually very mean and toxic on Twitter. And Facebook is where I interact the most with people. Uh, because usually if you don't like what people are saying or if they're trolling you, you hit the unfollow and then they can't bother you anymore. Yeah. But across the board is that stuff. Uh, I actually want to talk old school wrestling and nerd stuff with all the wrestling fans out there. You know, instead of just talking about, hey, why don't you beat up Anthony Gango? And I'm like, I'm going to. He's a coward. But what do you think about the new Black Widow movie? You know, <laughs> you know, I want to I I get to know how people, you know, we talk about, you know, pop culture things. Or remember that time in 1995 when it was uh, Doink versus the Bastion Booger on Raw? Yes, of course, I remember that match. It was fantastic. Or when Arnold Schwarzenegger attacked Triple H, promoting the movie End of Days, which is a fantastic uh, moment in history. I love it. I'm laughing because I've that. seen these moments with him. Oh, uh, yeah? Dying. That's awesome. Vince, you have built an empire. <laughs> Look at the 500 million people watching this worldwide. Vince, you are a champion. You, you are fantastic. I'm going to take this belt to <laughs> watch my film, The End of Days. Yep, that was real. Oh, my God. Hey, he then, kept the, fi- the same finish years later. Yeah, he used back- a, back- a backhand. So he backhanded Triple H in 1999. And then 13 years later, he backhanded The Miz. Same finish. He kept the same finish. He kept kayfabe alive, damn it. He's the best human being on earth. Uh, yeah. Hey, you come out here, you run your mouth, backhand. I did it to Triple H in 99. <laughs> oh, man. All his links are posted below in the description. So you can follow him Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I put the SRG cards down there. You could also I'll tell show- you, get, I'm, I'm straight up hooked at that. Like, I, I should have, like, brought it out there. I'm on a freaking card, man. So you know, cool. It says public enemy number one. That's Powered. I love strike. It. Nine. You know, like, come on. I have a nine strike. <laughs> Damn, I'm messing with you. <laughs> Gangone's got a ten. Gangone's card's got a ten strike. I don't know how. He's a coward. He's Gangone. Whatever. He's number one husband. He drips in gold. Wow. You can't be dripping in gold He's because that means your gold. belts are melting and you're not taking care of your titles. Listen, when he had like the five belts and they were like all dripping on him, I started saying he's dripping in gold. It wouldn't be dripping. They'd be hanging on him because they're dripping. They'd be melting. Don't be technical be... over here, okay? I, 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 I'm a technically based wrestler. Have you not seen my matches? I put up <laughs> sharpshooters and ankle locks. He's not wrong. And, 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 and cording holes, okay? He's, he's, cording he's holes. Not wrong. Which is all. when you grab the arm and you court them. Oh, man. Yes. I can't wait for Escape from New York. I really can't. God. That, that, that 100% virus or not will happen in August. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to plug that. And if you people have teams you want to see, yes. tell them about the tournament. And because, you know, the more teams, the merrier. Instead of it just being, you know, JD Alpha. I'm sorry, Leia. And, uh, <laughs> team Mercy. See, I brought it back around. You see, I brought it back to the same joke. It's comedy. 
<laughs> we need uh, some comedy here. I play a here. bad guy. I play a bad guy in the ring. I'm funny outside of it. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. There's I'm still a... champ, by the way, right? As I took the title, anybody beat me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the twenty four seven. We're not gonna yeah. say no. No, he's talking We're about the twenty four seven. No. no, I know. We're just. <laughs> He stole oh. the belt, guys. It's in the video, Indie Talks, episode oh, four. Oh, oh, oh. When, I, when I steal a belt, it's stealing. But when Gangone does it, he's dripping he in gold. He doesn't have it! Gangone doesn't, has not picked up the 24-7 belt yet. So I guess he's no, not really he's dripping in gold. No, talking about the IWA one now. Oh, now we're talking about the IWA one. Well, you know. <laughs> I... <laughs> he, he, he stepped on a useless human being's chest while kicking me in the face then stepped on his chest again before I can get my own title back. He didn't pin me. He pinned a useless human being. So therefore, he's a coward. And when uh, IWA comes back, Anthony, I'm going to murder you. Straight, just just knife, Drink knife in the chest. And you know what, what are you? What are they going to do? No, they're going to arrest me? No, it's part of the show. Death. And. Uh... I think that's where we end it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to murder them. I love it. See, guys, this is what's more about indie wrestling. It's not just, you know, like, there's really, like, so much more to some of these wrestlers, and I love it. And, yeah. like, I love it that you guys, like, embrace me, too. So it's, like, it means so much to me that you guys, like, embrace if, me. If, and if anyone can teach me how to, so I can go on here, like, the podcast world, and do nonsense like this maybe, like, two times a month, I would love it, but I don't know how to do it. So. Okay, well, we'll teach you. We'll teach you the way. Me and Ray will teach you the way. And you could just okay. click te te Nonsense with TJ. And oh, okay. That would be the name of the show. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I guess you have to stay tuned, folks. Oh, okay. <laughs> stay tuned, guys. Also, you can support. He's got merch. Do we need, like, yes. merch freak playing? That's also in the description below. Um, yeah, um, those shirts you can only get there so those are kind of exclusive i don't have boot party shirts anymore i don't have good times only shirts i don't have the pokemon uh, gotta boot them all shirts so if you like those shirts they're only at pro wrestling tees now now i only carry the public enemy ones and uh the let's boot cancer but the other my older designs are all still on pro wrestling tees yeah perfect go show some love guys for all these indie wrestlers like you guys uh again everyone stay safe them. and wash your hands and Shut your ass and you know, we're going to <laughs> fantastic promo. I, I, I nearly peed myself. I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, go search him up on YouTube. You will find a bunch of matches. Uh, BWF has, uh, they put on like a bunch of matches on the YouTube channel, IWA as well. Um, we're, uh, Warrior Wrestling channel too i think right like they have also youtube most of the stuff's on yeah. youtube pretty much right and then like, my, and then uh, on my channel is like a bunch of the vignettes that i've made and you can tell me if my directing with the hashtag dope is cool or not so i can come up with new stuff awesome. there you go shout out to coltrane shout out to coltrane. coltrane's the man yeah. coltrane coltrane makes movies with me it's fantastic Perfect. it's unbelievable i love it i love it go show support guys i love it um yeah anything else before we uh say goodbye to the YouTube world and stuff. <laughs> no. It's been real. It's been a lot of fun. And this was definitely a good way to spend my night. Um, everyone be safe and take care of one another. And hopefully this pandemic will be done soon so everyone can go out in public and shake hands without fear of a virus. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Support too. wrestling. Support each other and just try to stay positive. Yeah. Don't That's be garbage. Don't be garbage human beings like JD Alpha. <laughs> Sorry, Leia. And full circle. Full circle. <laughs> I brought it back around. You saw that? I brought it back. <laughs> uh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love it. Go support indie wrestling. I, I, I just, I can't get enough. Uh, I'll be dropping soon my next uh, Under the Ropes episode, which will be done on Monday. So look out for that uh, on the heart, Twitter. The Law and the Heartbreak Fella. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so you know he's gonna bust my chops now at the shows. Now it's gonna be a skit, probably at one of our indie talks as well. So, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with us, getting in all the wrestlers, and we will see you soon. <laughs> Bye. There's something you owe me. Give it back to me. Enough is enough. They just wanna hurt us. Bring us down.
the 2020 Mazda CX-9 is designed to elevate every moment with a sophisticated SUV experience. Stunningly crafted with three row seating, including second row captain's chairs. Book a test drive at Mazda.ca. The 2020 Mazda CX-9 is designed to elevate every moment with a sophisticated SUV experience. Stunningly crafted with three row seating, including second row captain's chairs. Book a test drive at Mazda.ca.